Hey everyone, it's Amy from Yo So Boho. Welcome back to my channel and a Thursday night thrift haul. We have two separate hauls from two separate church rummage sales and I have a small haul from the Happy Tales, which is the thrift shop in the Cuyahoga Valley that I have been to and promoted several times. Um, we weren't as happy as we usually are in the past with that trip, but I will share some shopping and we'll kind of get into some details there. First, let's take a quick look at the church rummage sale hauls. If you have not been to a church rummage sale, please get out to one. I have hit, I would say three or four in the last couple of weeks. These two, my Aunt Beth and I went to, and it's kind of like, here's the one <laughs> and here's the other. Um, lots of tins and then some Schwinn's <laughs> bike seats. So let's just go real quick. I don't want to get into, you know, detail on a lot of these because a lot of these are just kind of, you know, six to eight dollar things. But I will point out the things that are worth a little bit more that you should keep your eye out for. Um, and that is the Daher England tins. I've sold a bunch of these online. This is one. This is a small one. And it's not in the greatest condition, but this is made in England. And it's kind of hard to read there, but it says designed by Dower, D-A-H-E-R. Long Island, New York, made in England. This is just a really pretty one with birds. I have not found this one online yet, but I can probably plan on, I would say six to $8 plus shipping, just because it's so small and the condition isn't that great. But this one here is also a Daher. It does not have the D-A-H-E-R on it, but it does say made in England. And I have found a comp for this one. Uh, a couple of the other ones that I've seen do not have this nice little handle here on the lid, but they're calling this the Kaleidoscope tin. I absolutely love it. It's just this great kind of floral and it's all almost looks like enamel, like raised, almost like cloisonne. It's really pretty. And it looks like my competition is in the $15 to $20 range with this tin. It's not in the greatest condition, so I'm probably on the lower end of that, but that's still pretty good. I would say I paid maybe 50 cents a piece for these. Everything that you see from here back was uh, $20 is what I paid for it. So I would say I did pretty good. This tin is gorgeous. It is missing its knob on the top, but look at the feet on this. Isn't that great? This one is marked West Germany, and I love the name of this. It's Fricka and Naka. <laughs> A little hard to read in there, but there you go. Fricka and Naka. Designed by Mavis, it looks like, Western Germany. These do pretty well if they are in good condition and they have that knob. This one is in not great condition. You can see it's got a lot of damage around the edges and it's missing its knob. So what I might do is throw it in with this other tin, sell them together and maybe put, you know, 25 on it for the, for the two of them and see what happens there. The rest of these tins are kind of like I said in the six to eight dollar range. This Ritz tin, this one is an older one. This is the like 70s, mid 70s version. This is like the 80s version of the Ritz cracker tins. Cute little Campbell soup. I don't see a lot of these out there. The one that's listed is I think $9. I don't think it's worth that much. It says 1994 on it. I'd probably say, again, maybe six bucks. This one, I have not been able to find another one on eBay um, locally. There is one for sale in Europe. I want to say it's the equivalent of about $25 is what they're asking for it. I don't know. This one's in pretty rough shape. I don't know what I'll price it for. This one is kind of local. It's from Reading, PA, which is not too far from us. It's called Coquette by Quinlan. It's in pretty miserable condition. I did find another one, a sold comp on this one. It looks like it should sell in the $30 to $40 range, but in this condition, probably more like $20 to $25 is my guess. This was actually the first thing I spotted at this church rummage sale. It was on the porch. It had this cool kind of art deco look to it, and I flipped it over, and it is Pyrex. 
People who are selling these currently on eBay are asking in that $30 to $36 range. I don't think that it'll sell that high, but there's no current sold prices, which means that even if there are three listed, nothing has sold recently. I think I did find a comp on Worth Point for about $25. So that's what I would say I would expect for this, 25 bucks. This is a cute little Holt Howard candle, taper candle holder. This would be great if there were two of them, but there were only one. It is dated 1962. And these are not worth a whole ton. If you have two, maybe 16 to $20. With just the one, I'm guessing I'm looking at about six to $8. This little can, this little tin actually still has its cards in it. And I will show you one is currently listed. This one is in decent shape, probably another eight to $10 right here. This is really unique. It is an optometrist like eyeglass tray. It's got a really great weight. It is not signed. So I don't know who made this, but the graphics are awesome. They look very 50s, 60s, right? So this is kind of one of those oddball things that I can't find. It was probably made for a certain optometrist office. Not sure. Very cool. Love the graphics. And I think I'll ask somewhere in the $25 to $30 price range for this, just because it is kind of an oddball piece. What else? Oh, I picked up this brand new in the box eye makeup remover. This sells for between $15 and $18. I got it for, I think, a buck. And finally at that church, I found a box of these tiny little glitter houses. Super cute. They have this like cotton coming out of the chimney. They're all covered in glitter. They have these tiny little bottle brush trees. Some of them are embellished with like these flowers. And then I saw on this a label of Catherine's Collections. But they make very, very expensive things. And so just this label alone had me picking these up. There were six total. So I think I only have one of those. But two of those and three of those. And I can't find them online anywhere. But when I am looking online... I'm finding not only are Catherine Collection stuff expensive, but other similar handmade pieces like these are expensive. There's one that they want like $49.99 for a set of three. And I think they might be ornaments. These are like tabletop pieces, but they're very cute. And I think I'll probably sell this set of three and maybe I'll try in that kind of 40 $40 range maybe, and then I'll do these two, and then this one on its own. We're just making this up as we go along, right? <laughs> All right, I think that is it for the very first church rummage sale. That was kind of an amazing deal. I just kind of filled up a bag full of tins. <laughs> um, I don't have a lot of experience with tins, but I love to learn, so it was kind of one of those things where it's like, hey, let's grab a bunch of tins. They're probably cheap, and we can look them up and learn about them. And there you go. <laughs> Look for the D-A-H-E-R. Look for embellishments like feet and knobs. And look for old. And this is local. That's what I would say if you're looking at tins. All right. The second church sale, I found a handful of things here, including these two Schwinn bicycle seats. Now, I know nothing about Schwins, <laughs> other than the name is you know one of the best in the in the business this is a vintage bike seat they wanted two dollars for it and i'm seeing probably a return of 20 bucks this is like a wide seat um for a big butt <laughs> um and then this one is actually new it's a smaller seat and I can't say the name of it it's um, C-I-O-N-L-L-I -L -L -I. so yeah I have no idea how to pronounce that but these are really high quality Schwinn seats so this one they only wanted a dollar for but I think this one will probably sell closer to 30 bucks 
but yeah for three dollars i'm looking at somewhere between probably 40 and 50 dollars on these two seats which is awesome they also had a little table where they had things for a quarter this guy is missing his little kissing partner but he is a cute little toothpick holder he's hiding some flowers behind his back just cute, probably made in Japan. That's my guess for a quarter. It's a good little pickup. Even if I put it at the shop for a few bucks, maybe three bucks, that should be a quick sale. This was also a quarter and I've never seen this before. This is actually flocked. So the red on here is, you know, soft, it's flocked. And I'm not sure if I'll sell it just as is because a lot of people around Christmas, they make the um, vintage vignettes and these work really nicely for those. Or maybe I will try my own vignette this year, but I've never seen one flocked like this. So that was an interesting little find. This tin marked $3 was full of marbles. So the tin itself is only probably worth a couple of bucks. This had a marble bag in it. And then as you can see, just some random marbles. I have no idea if anything is worth anything in there. I doubt it. They look kind of new. They don't really look vintage, but I figured for $3, I would check them out. There are some larger ones in there. I'm just noticing. So who knows? I'm going to do a little bit of research when I have time. And I did throw my black light in here and I saw some light up. So that was a plus two for $3. You know, what the heck, right? And then, you know, if I see Tonella, I'm going to pick it up. And this guy was only a dollar. He's like a dark gray, which I do not have in my collection. And so I thought, yeah, I'll grab him. And he might not fit in my collection. He might have to be put up um, for sale. This size in this kind of detail, probably only $14 to $16 piece right here. But really pretty nonetheless. You know I love my Mexican pottery. It's super boho, super cute. Speaking of boho, check this out. They had this bag of old macrame supplies including still in the bag wooden beads <laughs> so this is wangs wooden beads like old macrame supplies i have not really checked them out to a high degree but that one's cool huh but i'm guessing somebody who does uh, vintage macrame would love some old macrame supplies right so this might be something that goes on eBay um, in, in auction. Maybe I do that and see how it goes. I think I was charged a dollar for this as well. And another dollar for this. So this is a simple frosted Vaseline glass plate. Nothing too fancy about it other than it glows. And you know I love that. So I'll probably add this to the cabinet over at the shop. Maybe I'll stand it up. It's got a great um, outside, you know, cut. This little kind of scalloped cut. It's really pretty. But for a dollar, that's pretty awesome. And I think this is probably an $8 to $10 piece, which is nice. Okay, so that was church rummage sale number two. So now I'm going to do a cutaway. I'm going to show you our shopping experience at Happy Tales. And then I'll come back and I'll show you these three items. We have been wanting to come back to this store for a long time, so we're excited to be here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's Jenna here with another, with another <laughs> um, no so boho video. Come on, follow me. We're at Happy Tales in Akron. You're Akron. <laughs> it's actually Kaga Falls, Jenna. But good try. Gosh, I love her. Look at how cool her hair is. I was never that cool. There's a case here right inside the front door with these Lennox birds. They were gorgeous. I wish they were in a price range. I could buy some for my mom, but they weren't. They were actually retail in the $25 to $30 range, which is what you can purchase them on eBay for. Um, some pretty glass in there, some not so fun, precious moments. And then actually Beth spotted this and I grabbed this. 
This was a nice find and it was $2. This book is a reference guide, costume jewelry by Fred Razazada. <laughs> <laughs> Razazada? Razazada. I'm going to say Razazada. <laughs> cool book. I've just gotten into it. Um, I'm definitely loving my growing library of reference materials, and this one is super cool. My aunt pointed this out, and then I kind of just set up the shot and grabbed it on camera to show you guys that it was in this kind of book area where they had some quilt, quilt and other type of books. So, Great find. This was a couple of bucks and these sell in the 20 to $25 range all day. It's not going anywhere. I'm keeping it, but keep an eye out if you want to resell. These reference guides are going really well right now. So I made a reference that we were kind of sad coming to Happy Tales today. <laughs> the prices have gone way up here and I do not normally complain about prices. I find things everywhere regardless, and I did here today, I spent $8 total, but some of these pieces, these birds, for example, I would have snatched those up if they were even half that price, but at $40, now this piece I probably should have grabbed. This is a metal piece, it's like a wall decor, um, I found this online just today as I'm editing, they wanted $15, and it looks like the company that makes them and sells them online sells them for almost $80. So yeah, that was a misstep, but I think at the time when I looked it up, I just could not find anything like that. This here, I wish I would have picked up. I loved the contrast of the light and dark. I was looking very hard for an artist signature, and I think there might be one carved in there, but it just, uh, it just didn't, I don't know. I should have grabbed it. I also like the contrast between that gloss and the black and that matte finish of the clay. Just a really neat looking artsy kind of vase vase and I wish I would have snagged it. They wanted $12 for it. This piece they wanted 6 I would have grabbed this in a heartbeat if it was in better condition. It had a lot of scratches and there were some rust and because I would want to sell this as a usable cheese tray, I decided against it, even though, man, look at those cool atomic shapes on there. That was a bummer. It was a good price, but I'm sure if it was in perfect condition, it would probably have been way higher. It's just kind of what we were seeing here. This was a piece by RRPC Robinson Ransbottom Pottery Company out of Roseville, Ohio. Liked the colors there, those stripes. I'd never seen a piece like that before this cameo. That was pretty, but it was only a creamer. didn't have anything else with it. We just didn't find, you know, the treasures that we find here on a regular basis. We were surprised by the prices. Those cow bowls that, that are there with the udders for feet, they've been there for a very long time. And then this. So this kind of made the whole trip worth it, in my opinion, because I absolutely love this piece. No markings on this, but uh, this is, to me, this is like mid-century boho cool. And I love it. And so, yeah, of course I grabbed it. This, if I had room and a display in my kitchen, like a shelf, open shelf in my kitchen, this would not be going anywhere. <laughs> I absolutely love this pattern. It's in this kind of cool mid-century folk artsy, blue and white, very trendy right now, very popular. And I paid $2 for it. It's probably the cheapest thing in the whole place. <laughs> I would say this is probably a $28 to $30 piece. I think I've seen some on Etsy. They go anywhere from 20 to 36, I do believe. I will share, of course. But it's a nice stoneware heavy plate. It is not marked. It's just gorgeous. And I think the right boho person who has that open shelf and can prop this up behind some other things 
is going to love this. They had some Pyrex here. This piece was a faded piece that was pretty much worthless. But this piece caught my attention. It was a really nice casserole dish. Beautiful condition in the Pueblo pattern. And they had $45 on this, which I thought was really steep. So, you know, I'm not opposed to paying that if it's worth twice that. But when I looked it up, sure enough, it's not worth anywhere near that. In fact, it came um, with a hugger, like a, a carrying piece, um, that you could actually buy that on eBay for like $10 less than this price here. So I'm not quite sure where they're getting their pricing, how they're looking them up nowadays. If they're looking at like the retail side of eBay comps or if they're looking at sold comps, um, it's a little concerning because, you know, even a collector would see that and say, yeah, no. <laughs> This is a cute, um, I like the shape of this, this beehive shape. I didn't see any marks on it, and it did seem newer when I looked at it. And they had $10 on it, which, again, was a little high. This was a neat piece. Um, this piece, in particular, was damaged. You'll see here in a second. But I've never seen the red and white version of this. I have seen this in the Blue Willow. And if you can find that, a Blue Willow... Gravy separator will go for $45 to $50. I'm in a different area now, and I like this little piece of pottery. I like that little cat back there too, but I believe it had a damaged ear. This piece down here, this box here was beautiful. I liked that, and I liked the shape of it. I passed on it though. And then I saw this really chunky piece. It was super heavy. They had 15 on it. I did like that it was so heavy and that it was probably, a big portion of this was probably copper, copper and brass. I did end up passing on this. Um, I think Jenna was the one who talked me out of it. <laughs> Even though I made her feel how heavy it was, but I did pass. I did find a couple things over here that I did not capture on my camera. They were some um, swanky swigs. Here's that cat. And I did want to show you, um, before I get to those glasses, look at this lamp over here. I think they had $250 on it, but this is a Fenton lamp, and look at how it glows. Everybody's into the 50s swanky swigs, and I found a couple these are, I believe, made by Federal Glass. I don't think these ones are marked, but they're very cool. There is one here in red. It may be faded from a dishwasher. I'm not sure. The most of them I've seen are kind of like this kind of faded red. And then a white with this frosted. These are really in pretty good condition. They wanted $2 a piece, so there's not a big return here. $4. I'm going to say probably for the two. I'm in the $15 to $20 range. And I haven't decided yet if I will post these. There are quite a few on eBay. I might sell them in the shop. All right, everybody. That was our total finds for this Thursday night thrift haul. And I hope that I found something that you liked. Or maybe we learned something together that you didn't know that will help you find something worth money or, you know, help your collection grow. That's kind of why I do this, right? <laughs> All right, so please, if you have not subscribed, consider subscribing. Hit that alarm button so you know when I put up a new video. What else helps the channel is if you hit the like or hit the dislike. I don't care. <laughs> and leave me a comment below. Tell me what you liked that I found or, you know, just say hello. And then share the video out so we can continue to grow the Yoso Boho tribe. Love you all. I will see you next week. Take care. Bye.